Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a review of the brand new AMD Radeon R9290X. So the question is, how does it stack up? Taking a look around the card, you'll see this has the same nice looking design as other reference 200 series cards. For display outs, you'll find a pair of dual link DVI, HDMI and DisplayPort, and for power, it needs an 8 and a 6 pin PCIe connector. Unlike the rest of the new AMD R7 and R9 cards, this is a brand new GPU codenamed Hawaii, which is really made to go head to head with the Nvidia GTX 780. Spec wise, it features 2816 stream processors, a clock speed of up to 1 GHz, and 4 GB of RAM with a 512 bit memory bus. That 4 GB of memory might sound like overkill, but the 290X is designed to game at up to 4K resolutions. At AMD's GPU 14 event, I was able to play around on a system with a pair of 290Xs on Crossfire on three 4K monitors playing Dirt 3, and it was really impressive. Unfortunately, I don't quite have a pile of money to go spend on a 4K monitor for testing, however the 290X definitely is designed for some really crazy setups. So with a new card comes a new way to control your fan and overclocking. The BIOS switch on the card goes between quiet and uber mode, which caps your max fan speed at either 40% or 55%. Quiet mode hits a good balance between performance and noise, where uber mode is a lot louder but works well, especially if you're overclocking. To overclock, instead of dialing in a specific speed, you instead bump up the max speed that's available to the card and it will run as close to that as possible. I was able to push the 290X in uber mode to 1095MHz on the core and 1310MHz on the memory, which is just under 10% and 5% respectively. With a better cooler and cranking the fan higher, I'm sure I could have gotten more. On the flip side, you can also use these same controls to make the graphics card run cooler and quieter. You can now set a max temperature, which is 95 degrees Celsius at default, something AMD says is totally safe for the card, and you can also adjust the maximum fan speed manually. What this means is that you can customize the 290X for you. So if you don't mind giving up a little bit of performance, you can let the card run much cooler and quieter, and on the flip side, if you don't mind about noise and giving it a little bit more power, then you can also get more performance out of it. Crossfire has also been revamped on the 290X, as you no longer have any external connectors. Instead, everything is done through the motherboard, which could also improve Crossfire performance in theory, however unfortunately I only have a single 290X, so I'll have to test this later. True Audio is also included in the card, which should help improve audio performance, however this is more of a future-proof thing than something that you can actually really use right now, so let's jump right on in and take a look at the benchmarks. So the Radeon R9290X is an absolute beast, especially considering the $550 price tag. Even on quiet mode, it outperforms the GTX 780, and it does it for $100 less. It's really this simple, if you're looking for a high-end graphics card, the 290X nails it. Of course, Nvidia is going to be striking back soon with the new 780 Ti, so what do you guys think? Are you going for a 290X, or are you going to hold off for a little while longer? Definitely be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel so you're always kept up to date with the latest and greatest. Anyway guys, I will catch you next time.